Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I'm Aisha and in today's episode we will be discussing about the topic of a UNCCT report has come out that is the United Nations Convention of Combating Desertification. So it has taken out a report and that report talks about the topic of range lands and world's 50% range lands have degraded. So there is an urgent need for policy intervention and also the communities which depend on these range lands to look into their livelihood also. So let us first understand the timeline. First we will be looking at the news then what are range lands and what are the reasons for the degradation of range lands then who are pastoralists and in the end the prelims practice question. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is environment conservation topic. From exam perspective what are rangelands and what are the reasons for its degradation. The news talks about a UN study that is UNCCD it has find out that half of world's rangelands are degraded. So we need to look into the perspective of that what are rangelands and why do they matter so much. So the UNCCD that is the United Nations Convention on Combating Desertification it has taken out a report and the report talks about that around 50% of the world's rangelands are degraded and there is an urgent need for policy intervention so that the protection for to the rangelands can be provided and the communities which depend on the rangelands they also need focused approach to look into the perspective of their livelihood. So what are rangelands? So look at this picture. You are able to see a vast vast land area of land where there are there are trees there are shrubs there are herbs and then livestock population or animals can go and feed those areas. So these are vast area of land which has the which has trees there and then the livestock population can go from one place to another place. So according to the UNCCD which is United Nation Convention on Combating Desertification it says that range lands are natural or semi-natural ecosystems that are grazed by livestock or wild animals. So it is huge patches of land where the livestock population or animal population they graze. And then range lands, range lands contain vegetation such as grasses, shrubs, bushes, open forest and agroforestry systems. So it means that those huge patches of land they have the vegetation also and because of this vegetation the survival of wild animal also continues. So you will be able to see the grasses, shrubs, bushes, open forest also. So from smaller grasses to large trees every, every aspect of the ecosystem can be seen in the rangelands. Then the exact nature of rangelands vegetation is influenced by the rainfall temperature and other climatic phenomena because the vegetation depends on the temperature. The temperature and the climatic condition decides that what type of trees can sustain in those conditions. Then over 80 million square kilometer of earth's terrestrial surface area that is over half of land's area. So this is the area of rangeland globally and largest land cover or land use type in the world. So this is about rangelands and if we talk about in very simple terms then you might have seen in movies or in television shows or you will see on National Geographic or Discovery those huge patches of land where animals are moving or pastorals are taking animals with them. So those areas are basically called the range lands. Then Rangelands also act as carbon sinks. Carbon sinks means that the rangelands gives rangeland gives out carbon 
much less than what it takes back from the atmosphere and that is why it is called carbon sink so rangeland works as carbon sink storehouse of fresh water and it prevents desertification of land and this desertification of land is what is creating problem because the rangelands are degrading rangelands are slowly diminishing so millions of people worldwide depend on rangelands for food security and the livelihood aspects and they are livelihood aspects is specifically with respect to the pastorals then rangelands generate 16% of global food production and 70% of feed for domesticated herbivores so food production is 16% and feed for domesticated herbivores is around 70% if we talk from india's perspective then rangeland occupy about 1.21 million square kilometers that is from thar desert to the himalayan meadows so it is basically the himalayan meadows or you can say the upper the northern states like for example you can say the union territories of jammu and kashmir or ladakh himachal pradesh uttarakhand then you can say the state of arunachal pradesh sikkim so these are the places where you will basically find the huge range lands then what are the reasons for range land degradation so it can be first and foremost being the climate change then unsustainable land and livestock management practices biodiversity loss conversion of range land to farm lands and uncertainty over land rights among pastoral communities so these are few of the reasons because of which the degradation of rangelands in taking is taking place like for example conversion of rangeland to farmlands so if the land will be taken away with regard to certain activities and also the man made activities then the 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 area of rangelands will be reduced then biodiversity loss biodiversity loss is a very big problem and also if we talk about as at, at present the situation which is so the point of forest fires are so much because such scorching heat it leads to forest fire and recently the the uttarakhand forest fire or you can say the nainital forest fire was also so much in news then climate change is playing its own part then global warming also then unsustainable land and livestock management practices livestock management practices also needs to be taken into consideration that how the pastorals are actually taking away their livestock and how are they performing on those range lands then who are pastoralist look at this image i think i do not have to explain you for that you these kind of images or these kind of scenarios or scenic pictures you might have seen in your day to day life also that people who take with them a uh, a huge cluster of herds or livestock and move from one place to another place so if we talk about pastoralists then according to the united nation food and agriculture organization they are a live food livelihood system based on livestock production so they are basically dependent on the livestock it includes livestock rearing dairy production meat production wool production and leather production then communities and groups so they are communities and groups both indigenous and non indigenous who are involved in livestock production so this can be you can say the definition of pastoralist so they are communities or groups or individuals and those can be indigenous or non indigenous who are basically involved in the livestock production and then they make their they make their living out of those livestock production the livelihood is highly dependent on the quality of pasture or range lands they have access to and their rights over them because these pastoralists and their life and their livestock is basically dependent on the pasture that they get and that and that pasture they get from the range lands then if we talk about the global scenario then globally 500 million pastoralists are involved in livestock production and allied occupations 
globally 500 million and if we talk about india then around 5 around 13 million people are involved so this is these are not official numbers you can say these are approx numbers so around 13 million people are involved in the livestock production or they are they perform their duties with regard to the pastoralist like for example gujars bakarwalas reberis or raikas kurubas maldharis etc these kind these terms you must have heard in your day to day life and even when you are preparing and you are reading books these examples becomes important and bakarwals example you will read a uh, many at many places and in your ncert books also you will read about them be it gujars or bakarwalas so this was about range lands and how the uncd report is talking about that 50% of the range lands are diminishing and degrading and a policy intervention is needed for their protection because if they will not be protected then the people who are dependent on the range lands like the pastoralist will also suffer and overall this will be very harmful for the ecosystem also now in the end a prelims practice question and this is a pyq of the year 2016 so what are the importance of the u c un ccd that is the united nation convention to combat desertification first it aims to promote effective action through innovative innovative national programs and supportive international partnerships second it has a special particular focus on south asia and north africa regions and its secretariat facilitates the allocation of major portion of financial resources to these regions third it is committed to bottom up approach encouraging the participation of local people in combating the desertification it has long statement and nowadays upsc in preliminary examination is asking is asking mcqs which also has long statements so select the correct answer using the code given below one only two and three only one and three only one two and three so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications